What's up everyone, V here, and, uh, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I kinda, like, put, like, the YouTube channel on the side the past couple weeks, uh, life been a little busy, and a lot of stuff with work, and just, I've been going to a couple concerts, um, so yeah, I just, I'm gonna be real, I kinda put the channel on the back burner, I've also been, like, learning how to play the song Karma Police by Radiohead, um, and that's kind of been, like, my main focus the past, like, two weeks, um, if you want to see the concert stuff and the Karma Police stuff, check out my Instagram, Moonadexo, I'm posting videos of my progression of the song there, but I was like, I've kind of been putting the, the YouTube on the back burner, how about we come back with a force, and what a force it is, because today, I'm going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Retro Carded Collection. I'm still not entirely sure what this line is called. Scarlet Spider. This figure is insanely hype. Um, I love Scarlet Spider. Let's get that out the way. You, can you tell I'm like a huge Spider-Man fan? But I always really like Scarlet Spider. He was like Spider-Man, but like cooler. Cause he's got the, he's got the, you know, hoodie. He's got the more angular eyes, you know, he's cool. He looks like, you know, the jock of the Spider-Man group. And, um, I have a very personal connection to Scarlet Spider because the original Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider figure was the third Marvel Legends I ever owned. I remember walking into Target one day, seeing it, and being like, oh my god, mom, can I get it? And her reluctantly being like, yes, you can. Then the next day, I saw the uh, Iron Man Mark 43, and I was like, yo, can I get that? And she was like, no, you already got the Spider-Man. You should have thought before you got the Spider-Man, just in case you saw something else, and I was really sad. But I ended up getting that figure, and anyways, I love this guy, and I still think he's pretty good. But, like, ever since we've gotten, like, the Renew Your Vows body, I was like, we need an updated version of this guy. Look at these legs. They're horrific. And when this guy was announced, I was like, oh my god, I lost it. Because, number one, new figure, hell yeah. But also, it looks so good. And it's such a miles improvement. I th Whoa, what happened to the voice there? But I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I think it's been almost 10 years since the last Scarlet Spider, because they re-released him a couple times without, like, the black outline and an unmasked head in a retro-carded line, but, like, I think this guy came out, like, 2014, 2015, 2024. It's been almost 10 years. It's been at least 9 years between these two figures, so there better be some improvements, and I've been looking, because, like, it, I guess, released in January or February, and I've been looking at all my stores, but of course my stores never get anything in stock, but they really haven't gotten this wave in stock. And it was, like, really annoying. I was, like, looking everywhere trying to find them, and finally I walk into a GameStop trying to find the, uh, Gamerverse, whatever it's called. Uh, like, War for Cybertron Megatron, because I got the Starscream. And who do I see on the pegs? Scarlet Spider. I lost it. I got it. The GameStop guy was like, I literally put those out today. And I was like, hell yeah. And uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely really awesome. I really love him. But before we get into Ben Riley, I believe, yeah, this one's Ben Riley. There's a, there's a lot of Scarlet Spiders and a lot of them are named like Kane. But yeah, before we get into that, let's get into the carded card. I've noticed Marvel Legends are doing a lot more carded stuff because there's an Iron Man wave that's carded. It seems like they're kind of moving away from Build-A-Figures and their excuse is the cards. Easier to store, not as easy to display. Harder to open, which I guess is kind of good. But also, it's like, yeah, they're moving away from the Build-A-Figures, but I kind of maybe see why because they've made so many and... At some point, you're going to run out of larger characters to make. Especially for, like, certain waves like Spider-Man stuff. So I kind of get it. But at the same time, you know. Same carded design we've seen dozens of times. Got Cityscape. Spider-Man, Spidey, Marvel Comics. Really nice shot of Scarlet Spider. 
man, I love that design. I also have a like fully fledged mask of Scarlet Spider from the PlayStation game with like a face shell and everything and beautiful texture. Um, I don't have a, the rest of the costume. Hopefully I can get that this year, but yeah, really cool. Anyway, on the back, is that the same picture? I think it's the picture, but flipped. They just changed the symbol? Actually, no, I think they just legitimately flipped that. I'm not too sure. Anyway, like the figurine-y looking thing. And then Peter's Parker clone and eventual ally Ben Riley returns to New York City to defend the city. I threw an extra city in there. Returns to New York to defend the city as the web-slinging Scarlet Spider. Hell yeah. I don't know why I put that there. Um... I don't really know much about the character. I don't know much about most characters, I'm gonna be honest with you. I only go by, like, the shows and movies. I don't read comics. But, like, I've always loved this guy's design. Also, I don't know why New York reminded me of my, uh, Tom York guitar pick that you see in every single one of those Karma Police videos. Again, go check out my Instagram for those. But, yeah, before we get into Ben... We shall talk about his accessories, and to probably a lot of, like, collectors is surprise and joy and happiness. He actually has accessories. It isn't just one fist, one thwip. He actually comes with, number one, an alternate fist and thwip. Hell yeah. Actually, it's usually one wall crawling, one thwip. But he has both thwips and two fists, and he has two wall crawling hands it's sad that this is exciting um i don't personally care like every video i say i put a thwip on this hand a fist on this hand and these are the hands that will stay on this figure till the day the sun implodes on the earth and eviscerates this guy into existence or out of existence but i know a lot of collectors like posing and these are really great to have and they look nice i mean they're just red hands that's really it but like it's all you really want would you do you want a web effect i'm sorry i have a passionate hatred against web effects but yeah this figures oh, look at them first off i know i do comparisons at the end of the video but we just need to whip out the comparison right off the bat look at the improvement i don't even think i can get this guy standing without his warped legs number one he got taller but just look at the difference like, I mean, I'd hope it'd change. It's been, like, almost 10 years, but we've truly come a long way, and this figure's great. Even though, technically speaking, it's like the Renew Your Vows body, but with, like, a rubber overlay. I know that because, um, there's pictures of it without all the thingies, and it is terrifying. He looks naked. But yeah, everything is just a thingy that goes over the Renew Your Vows body, but... I love the Renew Your Vows body. I think that's the most fun Marvel Legends body that's ever existed. So I'm glad to get some. And getting... The, also, just the reason why I haven't been posting too much is... I mean, I still have a lot of stuff to review, but I haven't bought a lot of figures recently. So I haven't been, like, encouraged to it. I don't know. I kind of fell out of love for a bit. There just wasn't anything really coming out. And, that, and all the stuff that's coming out was kind of like re-releases. So like, yeah, but getting this guy brought my love back. I got this guy, and then the next day I went on eBay and bought their New Year Vows Spider-Man, because I don't have that. And then I got the Iron Spider that they released as well. The comic one. So yeah, expect those soon. I don't know how I'm going to do their New Year Vows, though, because I just bought it uh, loose. Because that pack's expensive. But anyway, this figure is great. Like I said, everything's a rubber overlay, so uh, yeah, the most annoying thing, they hold together well, but the belt does move up and down, and I guess you can make it right up, because uh, unlike the original, which has the jacket go all the way to the belt, this one has a bit exposed. Um, You know, he's got a bit of midriff showing, you know, he's, you can tell he just hit the gym and wants to show the abs a bit, but still wants to rock the hoodie. And, uh, at first I thought that design aspect would bother me, but, uh, it doesn't really, um, 
it still looks great. And getting into this figure, that head sculpt looks really cool. It is a bit more angular right here, but like it looks really good. Those eyes look so good because the originals were just like kind of boring, but this is the more like because I think he had more like exaggerated eyes in Spider-Verse as well. And I'm glad they went with the more angular eyes. It makes him have a way cooler design. And these don't have the black outline like that original one. Although they did re-release it again without the black outline. But it still looks really good. And then of course you get to his hoodie jacket thing. They actually painted the strings. Strings? Ties? Titans? Whatever they are. As well, and this is a separate piece. It's not glued on the front on mine. It's glued on the back, which is odd. But yeah, still looks really good. You got the spider logo there, sideways, of course. I've seen a few designs have it more like smaller into the side, which I don't like. I'm glad they like made it big. Looks great. And you got the nice little tears there. Again, the original didn't have the tears. It was just all nice and smooth. So I'm glad this one with the rubber overlay makes it look like an actual like torn up hoodie that he threw over. Then on the back, spider logo, got a bit of a, I don't know, spine showing, which looks nice. You got the weird uh, wrinkles on the uh, butt there. I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, and the rest of the figure is just muscular red because yeah, he's just in a red spandex suit. You got the uh, web shooters, which are fully sculpted. Not to compare, as opposed to this one, which are just, like, lines painted. And again, you could pop the hands off and remove them if you wanted to, but yeah. Looks good. Pinless, of course. The belt has even more cartridges than the original. Um, So I guess I don't know what's in them. I'm assuming web fluid. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's one of those characters where they were like, let's give him a cool belt and not really think about it. I'm not too sure. But yeah, if it is web fluid, then he... I'm assuming it is because it looks exactly like these things. So yeah, he's not running out for a while. And it's got a red button because you always need a red button in the middle. And then come down to the bottom, he's got little pouches, same as the other one. Except slightly more detailed. They got little, like clips there and everything you know you, i don't exactly know what you'd put in those uh i don't know drugs put your weed in there uh hide like i don't know i don't know he's like cool guy from the 90s so he'd probably hide a pack of cigarettes in there is uh is scarlet spider a smoker let me know in the comments below Anyway, yeah, there, again, there's not much to talk about. Silver button, it's there. You know, it's it's red, red guy. And if you take all the stuff off, it is purely red guy, and it's terrifying. I've seen pics on Instagram. I've already mentioned that, but I just, I needed to reiterate my fear of that. Anyway, articulation-wise, you already know the drill. It's the Rainier Val Spider-Man, so of course he's blessed with the most beautiful articulation. But it is hindered, of course, there. Except for the head. The head is a dumbbell joint, and uh, it does not move well. Even with the cut in the back, it still only looks up like that, and it looks awkward. Should be a ball hinge on characters that need to look up. Anyway, little rant over rotation. Little bob. Arms rotate, hinge out. The butterfly joint does work uh, pretty well. It is cut nicely to where it doesn't hinder it too much. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. All hands rotate and hinge in and out. Torso, you're only getting that far forward. The ab crunch is exposed, but the diaphragm is a little hindered. But you can get some slight work, and you can still get it going crazy. You can move his leg out forward, and it does have the little drop down. But for some reason on the Renew Your Vows, every version I have, I have three of them. No problems whatsoever. Yet, for some reason, the like MCU Spideys, the drop-down ones, are basically, oh, we're gonna break. I don't exactly know what it is. I'm To be fair, that is extremely thick in there. But yeah, anyway, he can do the splits incredibly well. But when you bring it down, you need to push up because it drops it down. Can't really kick too far back because... 
despite the fact that he's a little flat back there, um, you know, I mean, he is a clone of Peter Parker, so I guess he has Peter Parker's butt. That's got to be weird, knowing that there's another person out there with your exact body. Um, always makes me think if I had a twin, you know, I think I'd hate it because if they ended up becoming more successful than me or like anything like that, I would know that it's uh, not based on looks, it's... It's entirely my personality that would be holding me back, and I think that'd be a crushing blow to have to go through. So I'm glad I'm not a twin. Anyway, tangent aside, thigh swivel, double-jointed knee, you got boot cut, you got a up and down, and the rocker, and a toe joint. That's uh, cool. It's, can move his little toesy woesies. So yeah, pretty awesome figure. I love him. He's great. He's he's awesome. He's as cool to play with and pose around and mess with as he looks. Comparison time. Y'all y'all already know what we're doing. Black series and Transformer scale comparison series next to the Black series. Hunter, I'm gonna be real. I think the season might have been over, or it's like got two episodes left. I still haven't watched a single episode yet. But when I finally watch it, I'll try to do the videos. And for uh, Transformers Voyager class, here he is next to the... Uh... I forgot the name, but... Uh... Starscream. <laughs> I don't know. It's the one with the crown and stuff. I just forgot. You know the bad comedy one from a uh, studio series? I don't know why I forgot the name. I should have just said Starscream. Because it also just looks like the Earthrise Starscream. Because it is the Earthrise Starscream. Anyway. I was going to try to do a Starscream impression. But I just confuzzled myself in my own confusion. For DC and Halo. Not Halo. Jazzwares comparison. And McFarlane. Oh my god. I am a wreck tonight. Anyway. DC. McFarlane. Black Manta. Jazzwares. Halo 3. Master Chief. Yeah. And for some Spidey comparisons, here he is next to Amazing Fantasy figures, here he is next to the original Amazing Fantasy, and then the self-shaded Spidey. Look pretty cool. Here he is next to some Renier Vows brothers. Actually, no. I was going to say these are the all the Renier Vows, but Deadpool's also on it. But we got the black suit Spidey, self-shaded, and uh... This Ben Riley Spider-Man, I don't know where it's from, but I have reviewed him. Go check it out. And he, I'm gonna try to make the next video, cause uh, I I'm I'm hooked on the Renew Your Val Spideys. But yeah, they look cool. Um, I don't know what happened with his head. He must have like had some like an allergic reaction when he was wearing the suit to the fabric or something, which ballooned his head. But yeah, anyway. Here he is next to uh, the uh, carded, retro-carded uh, Spider-Man. Uh, this guy, I got loose, and you can very much tell I don't like him. And that's why I'm getting the Renew Your Vows one. Again, here he is next to that original. And here he is next to a Spider-Man whom I hope they make an updated Renew Your Vows version of. 2099, dear God. This was not a good figure when it dropped. It was like, already had too many problems. We need an updated version, please. It's so bad. But also, I still love him. So yeah, do I recommend this guy? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, if you can find him. Hell yeah. I love this guy. And here's how I can prove how awesome he is. I kind of stopped. I kind of like fell out of love with buying figures for a little bit. For like a month or two because there just wasn't anything good coming out and all the things that were coming out were just re-releases of like i don't know 10 year old figures and i was just like i wasn't really like passionate about it but then i got i found this guy and i got him and like i just messed with him and it made me fall in love with figures again not that i really truly fell out of love but like i had a dry spell you know 
And getting this guy rejuvenated my love a bit. And uh, reminded me why I never had money in my bank account. Because I spent $90 on two other figures. But yeah, this guy's great. I love him so much. He, he's just such... He's so nice to pose. He looks great. Uh, not to sound like I'm lusting over a piece of plastic, but he's amazing. Like, this is a solid 9.5 out of 10. My only complaint is I think the red is a bit too bright. I think it's a bit too bright of a cherry red. I wish they brought it down to a more like this shade of red. He's a little too bright for me. But beyond that, he's great. I absolutely love him. Like I said, he reignited the flame in my heart for figures, which was kind of simmering and dying down a bit. And honestly kind of rejuvenated my passion to make videos again because I was kind of like dying out. It felt like I just needed to make them. Not that I wanted to, but then again, this guy was like, oh man, I can't wait to make a video on this guy, you know, just like that. I really like him. Uh, and just like the previous Scarlet Spider, this guy will always hold a special place in my heart. I don't know what it is about the uh, hoodied Scarlet Spider figures, but they just, they mean a lot to me. Or as the package says, Spider Clone exclamation point anyway that's about it like subscribe check out my previous reviews uh I, I might as well just the account's name moon knight xo but i might as well just call it spider-man marvel legends and just spider-man in general guy because like 90 percent of the reviews are spider-man related and uh yeah there's gonna be a lot more coming up because i bought the t i bought renew your vows and then the iron spider marvel legends and uh hopefully next video will be this guy and carnage so yeah I'm going to try to review them back to back, so if that video is a little scuffed, it's because we're, just keep in mind, I'm recording this one after this one. So yeah, anyway, that's about it. Oh wait, follow my Instagram, MoonnightXO. You can talk to me there, you can uh, see different things I post, and all that. And I'm also, like I said, doing a day by day, even though I post a video like every couple days so it's not really day by day but i'm doing like a prog progression of me learning how to play the song karma please by radiohead and i'll probably do a bunch of other like songs on guitar there it's gonna be fun check it out and uh yeah that's about it hopefully you had a wonderful day and hopefully you never have to have a clone made after you because uh like i said it might be terrifying and they might end up doing better than you in life and then you'll learn that it's entirely your personality peace